G'day guys, Betty from Nomad Effect. I uh, hope you can hear me over the wind today. It's a bit crazy here in, in Miami. Um, we're about to go on a pretty big road trip with the old girl behind me, Emily. And uh, I don't have a brake controller in the, the Tacoma. And I did a bit of Googling and stuff like that as to how you do it. Because, um, you know, I'm generally always fumbling my way around things. And... Um, there was like some written instructions, but there was no real videos for the, the second gen taco. So I thought I'd uh, just put something together really quickly as, as I stumble around through this thing. If you guys like this thing, please like and subscribe. Uh, it would really help because um, I'm only really doing this one actually to see if I can help somebody else because I could just install this. So yeah, so I bought the, uh, the Red Arc Toe Pro Elite. It uh, it wasn't crazy expensive. It seemed to have a lot more uh, features than the one below it, the Liberty, I think it was. And um, I was able to get it with a Tacoma specific uh, wiring harness um, that apparently just is like plug and play. And you, it comes with a little switch uh, insert that should match the ones in our car. And also comes with a uh, little like uh, windy thing that you put into the, the dash. This is what the brake controller looks like. Um, I'm not really going to do a review of it. I'm just going to get this thing installed uh, because we're in a bit of a hurry. So I um, I looked up and someone had nicely made a video. I can't remember who did it, but if I see it, I'll link it down below uh, or even up here. Um, and he just sort of explained where in the car I could find the uh, the, the um, trailer brake controller. Um, so that is actually on the driver's side in the, the kick panel. And I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to show you guys this, but I'll give it a go. So <clears throat> it's up in um, it's up in here. So this is the this is the, the foot brake, the foot uh, e-brake, and then up here there's this little white um white dude right there and that i'm pretty sure is what this thing plugs into um and then you install the the uh install the the brake controller somewhere really sturdy um around the area and then the only open um switch panel I have in the car is the one I have here next to the A-Track and the old AUX um, thing for the stereo, which I could easily just switch out for something else anyway. Um, but that's kind of, this one's pretty much the only place I have to install it. So uh, I'm gonna start trying to do this and I'll take you guys along for the ride. So I don't have a heap of time today, so I'm gonna try and um, plug this in without taking too many things off. Uh, I'm pretty sure I should take this this cover off here. Uh, I'm not sure how it comes off, but probably should be taking that off to get it to get to it. But seeing as it's right there, is that it? Actually, that's not it. Where is this thing? Oh, maybe this is it up here. This went up, up a bit further. Yeah, that guy looks like it. So it's actually it's actually up quite a bit further. There's a white one up there, and this guy should just plug straight into that. So let's try that. Boom, I don't know whether you heard that click, but that was it. And that was how hard that was to plug in. Um, pretty sure that I've just tucked that up out of the way of everything. Seems to be. Yep. Okay, so now um, there's obviously a ground or something. I don't know what this white wire is, but there's a ground of some sort. Um, and then this is the bit that plugs into the um, the main brain of the um, of the uh, little brake controller. So let me see. Um, let me see where I want to mount it, and um, I'll see where this can screw to, and we'll go from there. So regardless, I um, I'm gonna pop this out, which is really easy to do. <clears throat> and then um, that should make it easy for me to to sort of uh, route the the wire down to go into the behind these.
Um, so yeah, that's really easy to take out. And then the um, this guy should just pop out from behind this thing. This is the guy I'm trying to get out. I'm pretty sure I've had it out before because I was going to put a USB um, down there. Jump right in. Okay. So that went um, flying, but this is the little insert that goes in that little um, spot. Um, something that's really cool I just realized about this kit is they give you, um, they give you two of these little switch switch blank things with the the hole ready to go in for the um, the red art controller. And um, I realized that uh, one of them is actually, the different sizes. So some of them are for, uh, for these guys, so there's a long one. So if I had a if I had a space here that wasn't being used, I could use this one, and then the other size is what's used down down here. That's a really cool um, kit that Red Arc supplies. I uh, they're kind of giving you more options than you you need, which is rare in these days. Um, and I'm kind of kind of stoked on that. I wish I actually had more uh, places I could put this, but I I don't. This is the um, trailer blank. This is the blank, and then this is the new um, the one that they supply, and it says trailer brake on it. So this is the cable that comes with the kit to attach the uh, the remote head. Um, so I'm just going to start by tucking this up so they can grab it. Yep. And then this is the little um, insert, <clears throat> and it says to place it up uh, in this direction, oh, other direction maybe. Okay, so it only fits one way. And then um, there's this little clear nut that then screws on. Okay, it says to be uh, careful not to over tighten that nut. There's a little uh, dot, which it says that you line the zero. So I'm going to turn this all the way, make sure it's all the way back. And I'm going to align the, um, the zero up with the little dot. And I'm guessing that some light will shine through the back of that. There we go. Uh, that's all installed. You can feel the little button press. Um, I'm just going to plug the connector in. And uh, see where I should route these cables. They could have at least got the uh, the red arc up the right way. That's uh, gonna mess with my OCD. And you can see that with the red arc actually when it's on zero. There, it sits up the wrong way. And then you're on ten, and it goes the other way. Anyway, I guess I'll just have to live with it. So there's a there's a bracket here um, that holds the brake, and I think I'm going to mount it to the side of that. It looks like the I mean this will definitely reach, and I feel like the other one, the other cable is going to reach as well. So I'm just about to um, I'm just about to try and run that over and see how far I can get it around. And if it reaches that far, then I'm definitely going to zip tie it to the side of the brake thing. And um, they have little, has little uh, holes on the side, so I can definitely zip tie that without it moving at all. Okay, so um, I was able to, to pull it through here. It wasn't that hard to poke your fingers in to where the uh, AC came out. <clears throat> and then to get it to here. And then from there, it's pretty easy to tuck in and around um, the steering column. And then over to where I'm looking at installing the, the brain. Okay, so I've got this zip tied on here pretty tight now. All I gotta do is uh, get this guy plugged in. Um, <laughs> okay, and then this obviously plugs into the this obviously plugs into the other side, which I can do. I think I just gotta like <laughs> zip tie that up there somewhere or coil it up before I do. Maybe onto the maybe over to the left here. 
and uh, clean up these zip ties. And we should be installed. It doesn't seem to want to move anywhere. Oh, and I also need to find a ground. Probably should have plugged this in before I uh, mounted it. But whatever. So there's a, uh, there's a little um, nut that goes onto the bracket that holds the um, handbrake, e-brake in. It's not a handbrake anymore because they're foot controlled. And that's ground, that's uh, bolted to the chassis. So I'm going to guess that's a pretty good ground. Um, and I've bound, um, so I've bolted the ground to that with two, two nuts and just locked it up. Um, so it'd be easy to take off if I have to. And uh, I'm just going to coil this up and zip tie it. And we should be all installed. You guys should be able to see now. That's where I've installed the um, the brake controller. It's it's really in there. Like I really can't move it at all. Um, and then behind it, you can see um, where that wire wire is. That's where I've done the ground. Hopefully that works. Um, let's start the engine and give it a go. So as I said before, excuse the mess, um, but. If it's installed properly, when I turn the key, this will start flashing blue and green. <laughs> Nothing at all, so I've done something wrong. So it's now raining outside and I uh, did a whole heap of troubleshooting. Uh, I thought I might have got the wrong earth. I thought I might have done a whole heap of things. Um, it turns out that for the lights to turn on for the, um, the brake controller, all you have to do is have the trailer plugged in. So that was the, that was the one thing I hadn't done. And it's actually like quite a while later now that I'm filming this little section. So the Red Arc has actually already done its uh, calibration and now i have it here and even when the car is off you can see that the light is on so that's like like one of the modes if you press the other mode it goes green and it works great uh, i've used it now it's really really good it like tries to predict trailer sway and tries to sort of adjust itself for you um and, and it's, yeah it's been really really good so i hope this video helps somebody um like i said if you could please like and subscribe that would be great and i'll catch you guys in the next one Thank <laughs> you.